Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Alexon and welcome back everybody to the Minecraft Survival Let's Play. It's been a few weeks now and I do want to apologize about that. What's blowing my mind away is the fact that um, because the series, this specific series has been inactive for about a month now, um, seeing the amount of comments that are still being, uh, you know, written down in the comment sections down below in the past episodes of this series is actually mind-blowing. Like, you guys really want it to continue, and it's really growing after I've been kind of, like, inactive with it, which doesn't make sense, but it's surprising, and that's kind of the main reason why I want to bring it back, because for so many of you guys, you guys really do enjoy it, so if that's the case, then I have to continue it in some way. So, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm bringing it back. It wasn't ever going to end but I just had it for some reason on the back burners which uh, apparently I don't know why but um with that being said, if you guys are happy to see this back, make sure you guys all hit that like button. Uh, of course, it means a lot just seeing all the support. So if we can reach, you know, anywhere between 100 likes, that'll be amazing on the return video or the return episode. Come on, let's let's be honest. It's almost night outside. We got to get some sleep. And then uh, I want to show you guys some work I've been doing off screen because I'm going to have to be honest with you guys. The main reason why I've been kind of slacking off on this uh, series is because getting supplies is a pain sometimes and one of the big issues was if you guys don't remember around episode four or five i'm not sure which but um we lost all our inventory because of something that i did to the minecraft account or like to the update or something i did to it i'm not sure exactly what i did but i lost all my items and all the blocks i had saved up to kind of do the series so i had to kind of build back what i lost if that makes any sense and one of the issues was it was just really not motivational to even go and get all those items i've lost so it was kind of a hassle and I kind of lost uh, the spark to kind of go back out there and start, you know, getting items and start building new things. However, in the past few weeks, I've been doing that and I actually got a chance to do some quick little updates to our underground little uh, area right now. It's actually pretty big. It's turning out to be really a nice project. So as we left off in the last episode, this place had wood flooring, stone walls, actually had no walls and uh, very little detail to it. So what I did was I said, you know what, I'm going to add detail to this now so that we don't have to wait. Hey, there's a pigment. Is he gonna hit me? Oh, cool, sweet, man. We should actually block him off if we could. If we, do have, we don't have fences. We're gonna let him roam around, but it'll be cool to have him as a guard in here. That'll be pretty cool. We'll find him one day. He'll, he'll just stroll around, who knows. So what I did was actually put a, a grass flooring because I thought it was really unique having it kind of underground Personally, I think that's really cool. And then I actually got tons of clay, so I actually want to incorporate more clay into our builds because it's just a really colorful colorful design to it, and I think it's going to be important to do so. And let's actually fix that like that. I think that looks better. There we go. Um, so that's the idea. I personally like it much more, and I think it's going to be good. So also, the uh, frames for the items have been moved to the chest, so they're on the chest now. And the reason for that is if we go up here, I actually ex expanded this room here, so now that we actually have more space because there's going to be more blocks we're going to be adding to this and, you know, kind of saving up so we don't have to go mining every single time, you know, off screen and things like that. So this is where all, all the clay is, and it took me actually a few days to get all this clay. And I, the funny part was I don't know how to make, what's it called, um, it's like a, a teleporter so you can go through a portal and it teleports you into another dimension. Now, I don't know how to do that, so I just had to continue walking and walking and walking until I found clay. And the thing is, after I did something stupid, I just lost the coordinates to where those clay biome is right now. So it kind of sucks. I'm going to go find it though. I'm going to work on that because I, it's really important for more of our builds in the future. So yeah, this is the design. Let me put up the brightness a bit. It's kind of uh, low. I don't know why that's the case, but all right, that should be better. That's a bit better. I don't want to go too much out of it. But yeah, this is the idea. This is going to be the design. So the wood's going to be taken out. Um, I don't know why, but my computer is kind of acting up recently. So I'm going to put it on fast. Sorry about that. I'll be fixing it. And then for this room, we used to have stone here. I put the uh, grass blocks kind of out of the quartz pillars. And then just some more leaves. Because I want to go and work with this theme using glowstone and all of that. So everything else is the same except for this room. We're going to be finishing up in today's episode. And down there, we're actually going to add up a new hallway, a new room. We're going to have to get some animal farms. That's the new plan, guys. So when time comes, we're going to be getting ourselves established and trying to get ourselves animal farm instead of having to go out and into places. And then we'll pretty much have an easier life. And then we're going to work with the villagers and uh, next episodes. And it's going to be a, a fantastic time. So what I want to do here, guys, is I want to actually build ourselves a furnace room. That's the goal because... 
I don't really have an established furnace room and like a crafting room, so that's what we're gonna do. That's the plan. You know what? This is bothering me. I want to tie that on fancy, right? That's what I want right now. So we're gonna build these with a space between each block. I th think that's what I want to do. Yeah, that's what I want to do. And then um, same with this side. So it'll be right here. Oh, right. Oh no, I need it like that. There we go. Right there. Same with this side. And then for the middle here, it'll be about the same uh, approach. And I want the whole room to be pretty much furnaces because I like that. Uh, and we do need to get ourselves some clay because I want to do clay uh, borders around here. I like the idea of having that and I think it will work pretty nicely. So I think we can go with a green. I like the idea of going with a green because it's kind of like, I don't know why, I just I think it will work really nice. Or we can go with a black and I think that would be kind of cool as well. We'll see how that works with the other clay color we have right there. So I think black, or this is a brown. Uh, no, it is a black. It's like a darker, what is it? Yeah, it's black stained clay, but for some reason, I don't know if I like it because it's too similar to this one. So I think we're going to go with a green. I think a green will be just perfect. Going all the way around like that would be pretty nice. Um, you know what? Yeah, I think that's fine. And then this wall here can be stone brick just because it will add a bit of a, a difference to the walls and I think it will be really nice. Yeah, that's that's much better. We'll do that for sure. And then this will be pretty much the room design. I like this. I think it's cool. And the crafting table, we're probably going to add one more. Eventually, we're going to have to add like some pistons so that we can actually press on a button and the uh, crafting tables just pop up, which would be really cool. I have to work with redstone. I'm horrible with redstone. So we're going to figure that out. And I also want to get a few chests here so that instead, you know, the idea is this is going to be a basic room for now. But eventually, they're going to have we're going to have some auto smelters here. So it, once we put a block into... Uh, this the uh, a chest we put some coal and it'll pretty much do it by itself So that's the future plan just so you guys get a hang of that But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this room It's pretty much complete except for the ceiling the ceiling. We still got to work on in um, Future episodes, so that's kind of the gist of everything down here a glowstone I think we have some here that I want to incorporate as well into this right there So we have some more light in here, and I think that would look pretty cool um, we can't really do it on this side because it's not even there's not enough I want to have it symmetric so other than that I mean it's turning out really well we got this room that's looking pretty good pretty nice um, so I'm just pretty pleased with that so this room is kind of complete I want to add ourselves like a nice little gateway here because it's kind of too boring it just kind of looks too unfinished and that's something that's bothering me oh this is definitely not gonna work here let's fix this up here because this is just too ugly and we need to make it look good for what this room is now going to be looking like. So um, we could go with a similar approach to those colors, but if we really want to, we can just go with the stone brick, uh, which I wouldn't mind, to be honest. Stone brick wouldn't be half bad at all. Let's see how that will look. Yeah, it's not bad at all. I can definitely do that. I am really sorry that for some reason, the frames, actually they're not bad, but it's just, for some reason it feels choppy. And I don't know if that's just me, or if I'm tired or whatever the case is, but whatever, let me see. Third, I don't know. It's, it, I guess it's just me personally. Um, so we pretty much did what we had to do here. I don't want to work down there. I we pretty much finished the furnace room. We got our enchantment room, which is looking fantastic. We have to get some books though. We need to get books for here. I don't know if I put any. Uh, oh yeah, we do have bookshelves. Um, but we should get books. Let me see if I actually can get ourselves some books here. Let's actually break them. I think that's the way to do it, right? I'm not, I'm not entirely sure, but, and I don't have an ax, which is really depressing. I have to make an ax. Oh, okay, we have plenty of books here. So we'll get a few, and I believe we could trade with villagers with books. I'm not entirely sure, but I know that we can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save those there, and I'm gonna work on it one day to see if we can get ourselves some more trades with villagers. Now, there's one thing I do need to work on more is the fact that, oh yeah, and the horse. The horse, horse's name is actually going to be uh, Midnight. Someone left a beautiful comment in the comment section suggesting the horse's name should be Midnight. So I decided that that's going to be the official name once you get a name tag one day in the future. I also added more hay bills and pretty much kind of finished off the siding of the little stable for him. So it looks a bit more complete because before it was pretty ugly, got to be honest. So now he's pretty happy. He's got a pretty nice home and it's definitely complete. And this is the pumpkin patch farm. We're going to keep it how it is. We also need to, because we're kind of late in the season, um, 
we're gonna have to make a Christmas tree or something like that around here maybe somewhere here randomly or on top of there just so that every other year if we do this we have it already done and we don't have to worry about it just for the holidays I think it'll be pretty nice um, also future episodes oh let's go to the farm since uh, we need to get some more food I believe they should be done and ready to go but um, what I want to do is actually want to go and um, work on a winter cabin that's the plan for the future episodes a winter cabin for sure and get that going um, so once we have those winter cabins done we can actually go and work more in the winter biomes and that'll be a pretty fun time so over here we have the old-fashioned like really cheesy way of farming but it is what it is it works oh wait why'd I do that oh man it just works for what I need right now um, all right so for some reason I don't know why it is doing this to my computer right now I feel like it's really choppy and I don't know why I apologize about this for this episode maybe it's not and maybe it's just me but I feel like there's something fishy going on here it doesn't make sense so I got to check out my computer and see what is see there's a lag there is lag it's not lag it's just frame rates are dropping like crazy but the weird part is on my screen the frame rates are still like a hundred and like something but for some reason it feels like it's running at like a 30 frame rate per second which is not normal at all to my standards it needs to be high standards at all times but yeah whatever it is what it is I just got to get all this food because we've been really running low on it all right let me see if I can fix something currently at the moment let's see I'm gonna drop down the rendering performance everything should be fine I don't know I usually always run it at a high you know performance so I don't know why that's happening to me right now but whatever um so we have this done let's see if we can actually replant half of this stuff because I kind of still need a lot of food we got to get farms and all that stuff so that will be in the process now episodes are gonna be why is my why are my frames dropping this is bad guys I am really sorry about this it's kind of um, embarrassing that it's just dropping so much and I think I know what the case is so I'll fix that when time comes because uh, I know what's wrong I think it's just something with the space on my computer right now I don't think I have a lot of it left because I've been uh, working on Fear the Craft and Dead and that's kind of been filling up a lot of space machinimas a lot of recordings of it so yeah I apologize about that um, hopefully it'll be fine I think right now it's running better so hopefully cross our fingers it works all right it's turning night Ooh, not the best time to be out here um, also, I want to expand into this direction a bit more, kind of see what's going on there. Now, what I was thinking, because this is kind of like a farm area, we can actually add a bridge right about here into that side, onto that side, uh, similar to that one, but maybe more rustic, much more simpler. Clear this land right here with trees and pretty much add just animal farm over there, just simply having animal farms. So that's the idea for more projects so you guys can get a spark of ideas as well. Let me know in the comment sections as as well so with that being said we got a lot of plans to do in uh, the future episodes here and I'm just excited for it because it's been a while and I'm just all hyped up for it now because I took a small break from it and I think it, it was only for the better so I'm I'm pretty happy with that also sugarcane we need a lot of sugarcane do I have torches on me I want to plant some torches just around here so no mob spawn like that so we're really running low on sugarcane um, and I haven't been really working on like farming them, but I should definitely add torches around them here because we got to get ourselves more sugarcane going around here. It's just not enough. It's not good enough. So that's a plan as well. We got to make sugarcane farms so we can make trees or not trees, paper, which we can then sell with villagers that are down there, which go for pretty good deals. There was like a fire aspect last time I checked. Um, so we got to get on that as well and then down there is the winter biome We're gonna have to work over there and get ourselves the um, Winter cabin complete it's gonna be a small winter cabin, but it's gonna allow us to do more uh, concept builds and all that stuff um, In the winter area, so I'm looking forward to that as much as I'm looking forward to go to sleep right now Because there's so many mobs like there was a creeper right next to the horse imagine it killed midnight That would be a sad day for us all so we're coming close to the end of this episode. I know we're around like 15, 16 minutes, um, but there isn't much more I can do to keep you guys occupied right now because uh, I still have to plan out some builds. I can't really just jump into something, but I, I did complete the furnace room, which was a big must for me because it was just so unorganized earlier, just furnaces all over the place and everything was just so unorganized, which bothers me. And this is the back room over here. I don't know if you guys saw it. I'm going to put this again like that. I don't know why it's doing this to me right now. Um, but, oh, I think... That's the right setting I should have it at, yeah. But whatever, I figured it out now at the end of the video, sadly. But it'll be fixed next episode. So yeah, this is the room here. We're gonna have to get some more armor. As you can see, we just have a few things. Oh, an armor stand. Yeah, that's what I need. 
Helmet projectile, that's the one I've had here. These are like all the mob things. So I'm planning of actually adding ourselves like a stand, armor stands on both sides. So we're gonna have to make another one here, two more here, and then have like a leather, iron, chain, and diamond or gold or something that we can use just for decorations. Um, but yeah, let's just do something for the fun of it. I'm curious to see how this would look. That looks pretty cool. I kind of like that. Maybe we can just keep it simple and just have iron and diamond leather stands. And then over here, we'll add some green, maybe. No, I think we'll go with some wood like that. That looks pretty cool, guys. Let me know what you guys think about that, actually. Oh, but then we can't open the chests. So no can do. We can't do this right now. Well, it is what it is. I'm not going to go all crazy about it. But I could, if I wanted to, make these into slabs, the quartz I have upstairs. But we'll think about it. As time goes on, we'll, we'll plan something out and we'll work it through. And I'll see what you guys have to say in the comment sections. And it will be a good time for sure. So guys, if you guys enjoyed today's episode of the Minecraft Survival Let's Play, make sure you guys all hit that like button. Let's see how much support we can get for this. I'm looking forward to it. And I actually want to craft ourselves a quick diamond pickaxe and enchant it and get that done and end off the episode there. We have 36 diamonds. We can definitely afford making ourselves a diamond uh, axe, which is what we need right now. Let's do that. We'll enchant it with whatever we have. And maybe it's some good luck. Who knows? We need some lapis, though. So let's get that quickly, enchant it up, and end off the episode with a bang. Hopefully. Hopefully it'll be good. Now I gotta clear out my inventory. It's all full. I apologize about that, too. But that's one of the things I hate doing, too. I have to figure out a way to clean it. So let's chop those in there. And let's see. Efficiency. Efficiency 2 or Unbreaking 1. Is there anything better? Efficiency 2. What's this? Efficiency 2. Maybe we can just, I don't know. I don't think there's anything better. I think efficiency two will have to do. Unbreaking is, it is what it is. Um, let's go for it. Why not? Efficiency two, not bad. I mean, all our diamond gear right now is efficiency. So I will accept that and I'll be pretty happy with that. Not so ugly as I thought it would be. Actually, ooh, I want to make an anvil if I remember how to make one. I should be good with the amount of gear that I have. Hopefully it'll be enough. I think it should be enough. Let's find out. So we got to make, I believe, three uh, blocks, right? Three blocks of these, like so. And then we just have to craft it like that. Or is it like that? Or no, we need four. Yeah, we need four. Okay, so we'll do one more. Even though it's running low on iron, it's going to be enough for now. So I believe it's four. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm more than sure. Wait a minute. Wait, what? How exactly... Do we make a anvil? I thought it was like this. Maybe it's, um, let me find out. Give me a second, guys. All right, I figured it out. It's actually quite simple. I needed three anvil blocks, which is not a big deal. Um, I need one more right there and then three on the top. And there we go. We made an anvil. Um, we have a lot of junk in here, don't we? All right, let's just toss out those dandelions. And let's place this somewhere cool. I think it would actually be much more beneficial instead of having the glowstone over here. Let's actually drop ourselves the anvils right there. So one there and eventually we'll make one more there. And I say we just need one for now. But let's make two because we don't have enough actually to make two. No, we do not. So eventually we'll, we'll have two. But I think that's good enough for there. And then we'll put one more in this spot. And we'll just drop a glowstone in there just to at least take its space like that. Anvil there. Look at the flower just just chilling on top of the crafting table. Looking good, guys. I'm actually really happy with this. Really, really impressed how far we got into this episode. So again, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you guys all hit that like button. And I'll catch you guys later with more Crafting Dead in the future. And then more Survival Let's Plays. So uh, more of that stuff coming to you guys soon. I apologize for all the delays. But catch you guys later. Peace out.